Hey guys, how you doing today? Coming at you with a little comparison video today with the P365C and the Taurus G2C 9mm. Let's see what we got here guys. As far as size and everything here. Let's see. Both of them's holding 12 plus 1. This one is loaded, guys, because that's what I'm carrying. It's nighttime. This one's empty. Trust me. Alright. There's nobody down here, so. Look at this. It's really close. On size wise. Towards just a little bit longer. A little bit wider. Not a whole lot. There, let's flip them this way. Just a little bit shorter. Right there, you can see on the uh, mags right there, just a little bit shorter. Both of them 12 plus 1. Got 12 round magazine in the SIG there. See, got nice stipple in here. And so this Taurus got nice stippling here. Taurus has got a thumb safety here. I don't usually put it on. The only reason it's on because the gun's loaded right now. Got a nice pop-up indicator, which I kind of like right there for tactile. I did stipple this part right here on mine too where your fingers go when you're holding it. really like the dimmer there. Kind of nice. Uh, both of them got night sights on them. Of course, I put the night sights on this, but this was only a $200 gun. This is a $500 gun. You know what I want to say, guys? I should have brought it down here. You got this here SIG P365 is got a uh, men's firing pin in it which is made out of a bunch of powder put together and cast it into a firing pin $500 gun this Taurus tier $200 and got a stainless firing pin in it ain't that crazy I can't believe C couldn't afford one for this they had to give us a cheap firing pin inside of this one. When I got a good firing pin inside of a cheap gun. Let's see. How did I say that? We got a cheap firing pin and an expensive gun. We got a good firing pin and a cheap gun. Wow. Ain't that something? That's amazing. <laughs> Both of them got slide release both of them take down really easy uh, both of them's got a rail here but you can only use SIGS stuff they make for it the tourist you can put anything you want on it you don't have somebody special making something for it which is good they both got good triggers to me guys the Taurus, I kind of can hit the mag release a little easier on it than I can the, uh, see, I mean, I can do it. I've been using it for a while, but I really got to twist my hand way around there to get it for it to come out. You know, this one's empty here. Uh... They polished the feed ramp up in there. Looks like you could see it. Did that on that. Make it feed good. Real nice release there. Trigger. Mm. A pretty good trigger on it. I mean, let's unload this real quick. A 
another little good polish feed ramp in there. Came that way from the factory, guys. You know, I didn't have to polish that up. But I did have to do the SIG $500 gun. Uh, I don't know if you can see the breech face in there, but I did polish that up too, which makes it really run smooth. Safe direction. Make sure we're here. All right. Real good trigger there. Got a little take up. I don't worry about that. Everybody complains about triggers on guns. I don't complain that on this. That's you hit that wall right there. I know it's gonna break there. Real nice break. Real sweet reset too. Both of these guns shoot good, guys. I like both of them. Uh, I'm not a Glock fan. I'm not a Taurus fan. I'm not a Sig fan. I'm not a Smith & Wesson fan. I like all guns. As long as I use them, take them to the range and practice with them, and they don't have any problems, and I grab this one here if I need it, and I pull the trigger and it goes boom. I grab this one here, I pull the trigger and it goes boom. I'm happy. And this one does got second strike capability, which the SIG doesn't have. Another good fe feature about this gun that I like. Even though I probably wouldn't use it, only at the range if I had a dead round, but in a tactical fight or something, I had to use the gun, uh, I'd probably get the round out of there quick as I could. And then, you never know in a panic mode, might pull the trigger again. Hard to say. <laughs> but uh, this gun right here, I recommend this gun to anybody for the price. Uh, price on is really excellent. A couple hundred dollars, man. You can't beat this gun. And they do some upgrades, like I said, with the sights. Got the lake line recoil spring in it. You know, a couple little upgrades, put a couple dollars in it, that's okay. This one here is a $500 gun, and I put different sights on it too, because I didn't like uh, them uh, x-ray sights. I like these True Glow sights, you know, that's what I like. I like that sight in the front, it's like a big white dot, you know, something like... Um, Excess sights. I'm getting older, so it helps me pick everything up better when I'm shooting. That's the same thing I got on this one, too. Got these ones from Lakeline. You know, real good sights. They're both good guns, guys. Um, you know, I really love the SIG. I love this Taurus, too. You know, well, you can see, have it loaded today. That's what I'm carrying tonight. I did have this one on earlier today. I seen another guy today, guys. His uh, trigger broke on him. You know, he was shooting it. Put a video on Facebook. Dead trigger. I guess he still ain't got that right. I didn't have no problems out of mine. I got probably... I don't know, 19 or 2,000 rounds through this. I had no problem out of mine. And mine was uh, the second gen one. I think this one was made in May, I believe. And uh, I think it was May this one was made. And uh, I haven't had no problems out of this one here at all. And nothing with the trigger. Nothing with ejection problems, uh, slide lock back, uh, everything's worked on 100%. I just think uh, some of them's hit and go with SIG. Some people have problems, some don't. But, you know, a big money gun like this shouldn't have any problems. You know, I got me a little $200 gun here. It don't have no problems in either. 
and uh, since Taurus become under new management and they redone this gun a little bit from the Millennium uh, I haven't heard one bad video on this gun and believe me they've been putting a lot of them out and a lot of people buy this gun don't let nobody fool you when people say oh it's a Taurus well you want to know something funny about this gun guys that I'm about ready to tell you call a holster maker up and ask them what's the most holsters you sell for guns that are made and you know what they're going to tell you almost what their number one seller is for the Taurus Millennium PT 111 that's what they're going to tell you they sell a lot a holsters for this gun believe me so don't let people jerk you that they won't buy a Taurus because a lot of people out there own them for sure so I don't know guys I just want to do a little comparison for you I'm not doing no shooting video with them today we'll do that another day I'll take them both to the range and we'll do an accuracy test on them at the same yardage and footage we'll probably set them up at uh, seven and a half yards and uh, see what we get out of accuracy with both of these I shoot pretty good with both of them I did do more of a undercut here on the tourist they don't do too bad a job but I cut it down some more so I like getting a helps me get a lot higher grip up on it and uh, works out real well like that so our next video will be guys uh, you know when I get a chance I'll take them to the range and we'll do a little uh, accuracy test on them see how that comes out all right so please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video